Hi there, I'm Tonya, your support manager from Albus of Tattoo, and today me and Ruslan will show you how to set up your Kruto Universal 2.0 with our 112 Magnum. The spoon that you see is reusable. It is very comfortable to use it instead of a wooden spatula. You should begin with taking the needle out of the blister and you need to bend it in two spots. One finger away from the solder and two finger lengths away from the barring. You should end up with it looking slightly like a bow. Your grommets should be made of hard rubber or silicone that will withstand the reverse amortization. The sign on the engine, enjoy pain for beauty, is a reference to the name of the machine and it's the motto of this machine and our studio. So firstly, you set the needle on top of the pin of the machine and then you set up the gripper. For the moment, don't tighten up the lock too much. You'll still have to set up the needle position. Once you put the needle down into the gripper, make sure that the gripper is set straight parallel to the needle. Then you set down the pressure mechanism, which will then help you to avoid the vibration and ink spitting if you did everything right. The rubber band that you will set up over the hooks of the needle should be a tight one. You can find them in a stationery shop or the pharmacy, that's where we get them from. There you go, all working. Now let's move on to the stainless steel gripper. You shouldn't have any difficulties here either. Everything is pretty much the same. You bend it in two spots, one finger away from the solder and two fingers away from the ring. And here too, you should get the shape of a bow. Hard grommets, you can twist it on, it's easier to put it on with that motion. And all the same here, you straighten the gripper so the needle sits there straight. Push the bar down slightly with a pressure mechanism and put on the rubber band. In case you wondered, it is there to stabilize your needle and reduce the ink spitting and excess vibration. Don't forget to set up your needle position, turn it on and you're ready for work. We also produce disposable ink cups for our 112 Magnum. On the bottom of them is tape, so you can stick the cup onto your working zone. That will protect you from mess with Vaseline and accidental ink spilling. Inside the ink cup, there is silicone bottom, which protects your needle from going dull in case if you hit it at the bottom of the ink cup. The cup that you see here right now is a prototype cup. Soon, in this video, you'll see what it looks like now. Now listen to the sound of this machine. It changes as soon as the needle has been dipped into the ink. It's an important notice. Don't run your needles dry. When you check your setup before work, it's useful to dip the needles into some water. And here you see the setup at work by Ruslan. It's a cover-up of some old tattoo. The outlines on this tattoo are quite dense. There's shading and some filling also present. Normally cover-up tattooing takes a little bit longer than applying ink on clean skin. And overall it can be hard on skin itself because there's an old tone of black that has to be overcome and even now for the rest. Ruslan has spoken a lot about this in his previous videos on Instagram. Take some time to get familiar with those. It's very useful. This is pretty much it about the setup, I guess. We hope this setup video was useful for you and you will enjoy your experience with Kruzo Universal 2.0 and our 112 Magnum. 